Welcome to Nana Sewing. Today we're going to make a pillowcase using the burrito method. And you can download the instructions uh, for the size of pillowcase you need. And again, you will need to straighten up your fabric to get the edges nice and straight. And again, I have the cuff to go on my pillowcase. That's up to you if you want a cuff or not. And so I have my cuff pinned to my pillowcase. And I've rolled my pillowcase uh, just like a burrito and have it pinned so we can have a nice, clean uh, edge when we turn our pillowcase. And you can download the tutorial in, on our website. So now we will sew the edges of our, our cuff to our pillowcase. It's again, just like a burrito, roll it up. Make sure you don't sew over your pins or you will have to change your needle. Oh, then you will need to pull out your, your pillowcase from the middle. Just keep pulling it out and then you will be able to pull everything through. And now you can see how we have such a neat seam. You don't have any edges. Now we're going to do a French seam. And with a French seam, it's always wrong sides together. And I wanted a French seam so the inside, again, would be nice and clean. No raw edges with the French seam. And on most pillowcases, you will have one side that is a folded edge. And so you will only sew down two sides, one side and then the bottom. Once you sew down the side, then we will sew down the bottom. And then it's very important to press, press, press that seam out. Uh, just getting it pulled out. Just this part is very, very important to press the seam out. Then we will sew down the side at a three-eighths of an inch seam so that we make sure that we catch the seam that we've sewn. I just love French seams. Makes things look so nice and neat. And here we have 